Hey guys, I'm Chef Eric Horwitz of Lift and Nurture, and in this video, I'm gonna show you three delicious, fast, easy, homemade recipes that your kids can make with canned tuna. So I have parents who talk to me like one mom, Margie, whose son, Sammy, she came up to me and she said, look, we're at home all the time, and Sammy doesn't have a whole lot of time between Zoom lessons to make a lunch. He's reaching toward, you know, canned soup or frozen dinner, and those are okay, but I don't want him to eat those regularly. What are some fast, easy recipes that he can do and make fresh at home? Now, Sammy's actually a really awesome cook. He's been with the kids cook inner circle for a few months now. He's made cream puffs and risotto, and tons of awesome dishes. I'm gonna show you three different styles. One American, one Mexican, one Asian. You could do a pasta one as well. The cool thing about these three recipes is that they have things that you already have at home. We have bread, we have tortilla, and we have rice. All of these take literally less than 15 minutes. So if you have a 30 minute break between your Zoom classes, you have enough time to make this dish, cook it, maybe mostly clean it up. We have another video on that I just shot recently over here. So here we have some Kirkland tuna. I'm just gonna put that into a bowl. This is not sponsored by Costco. I just like buying things in bulk, it saves money. Uh, chopping that onion. Now that onion gives it a nice bit of crunch and some extra flavor. I'm gonna give it a simple little chop and then a little cross chop after that. Super easy technique for kids to do. And then just put that in the bowl. And then I wipe it down because you know me, I always wanna have a clean countertop. Next, squeeze some fresh lemon juice using that hand to catch the seeds, some low fat mayo, salt, pepper, mix that up. I swear low fat mayo is like awesome, tastes delicious. Stack up that sandwich nice and high with a little cheddar cheese in the middle on some Dave thin sliced bread. Spray a non-stick pan, put it down, and of course you have to gently pat it down. There, there you go. Flip it over when it's crispy. Put a lid on top so that it will help kind of steam it just a little bit and melt the cheese and warm up the inside. And honestly, that's it. Put it onto a little thing, do a little magic trick with my hand, and here we are, crispy, crunchy, and delicious. Slice that bad boy on the diagonal and enjoy. Here we go, we have our tuna melt that we upgraded by toasting it. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt to season the outside of that crispy little crust. Take the bite. Mm. It's just crispy, it's delicious, it's cheesy. It's such a simple little thing that just elevates it once you heat it up. Highly recommend serving with a little salad. Uh, I love a Caesar salad. I have an incredible and tasty low fat dressing I'll talk to you about. Also, click the link in the bio. I'm gonna send you an ebook with my 10 best recipes, kid approved. Taught these to tens of thousands of students over the last 10 years. They are absolutely incredible. Plus, knife safety, how to clean up in the kitchen, a bunch of other useful stuff. And you join the newsletter where I send you all of my latest tips and tricks and recipes. So click the link in the bio. It's like a grilled cheese, but gets extra protein and flavor from the uh, from the tuna. And it's nice and warm too. And it takes, you know, 10 minutes. For the fried rice version, I have some leftover long grain rice, it's actually made with saffron, which is why it's yellow. I just had some extra saffron. You do not need to use saffron. Crush some garlic cloves, just like I did with the back of the knife. Gently slice it. And what I'm gonna do next is get some ginger going on. This technique with the spoon allows you to kind of scrape the edges off, trim the other pieces of the skin, and just give that a rough chop together. This is your flavor base for everything Asian. Garlic ginger, put that away onto a little plate. Next, some green onions. I am using those greens because that's where it's gonna be my garnish later. And just give them that a nice simple slice. And of course, let's make a sauce. A cup, two tablespoons of soy sauce, spoonful of rice wine vinegar for kick, a half a spoonful of fish sauce, and of course, some oyster sauce for that little sweet barbecue-esque flavor, and a dab of the chili paste. Mixing that together, that is my go-to sauce. A little bit of vegetable oil in a non-stick pan, swirl it around, get that everywhere. Sauteing the garlic and the ginger. Oh my gosh, can you smell it? It smells amazing. And I'm using an electric stove at this Airbnb because that's what I got. Put in your canned tuna, break it up a little bit. This is your protein. And then add that rice. So now we're just going to mix it all together until it's one thing before putting some classic little fried rice touches, moving everything gently to the side, 
adding a little bit of oil, and we're gonna crack one egg regular, and the second egg is gonna be, wait for it, one-armed crack. There you go. You don't even need two hands. Pro move right there, a little salt. Scramble that bad boy up, and, and you gotta make sure that it's like, you know, little pieces throughout the dish, about half a cup of frozen peas, and of course add that sauce, and that's really it. You're just gonna mix that together for about a minute, until all the flavors become one and you have yourself some tuna fried rice. Of course, you gotta try it. And in our cooking classes, we always do this, the thumbs up. All right, garnish with some of that green onions. So here it is, the final product. Um, I made about two pretty decently large portions. Let's see how it tastes. I just love that it kind of, it, it's a fried rice, but then it's got that kind of like tuna kick in it. So honestly, it's a great way to take leftover rice and add some protein to it. And also the protein helps make you feel more full. It satiates you, because I could just eat bowls and bowls of rice. Mm. To make the quesadilla, of course, we're gonna grate some low-fat, low-skim mozzarella cheese, which I always have in my cupboard. Make a little tower of cheese right there for you and put that in a bowl, a little mise en place, everything in place. I had some red bell peppers that were nicely roasted to add flavor to the dish. So I just used those because I had those on hand, not required. Put those in the same dish you made with the tuna salad from before. Again, just that simple combination. And I threw in some green onions and wiping everything down, keeping things neat. I got some like low carb whole wheat tortilla thingies and I'm adding some cheese some of the tuna mixture, and a little cheese at the end. Don't go crazy with the cheese, a lot of flavor, some fat as well, but you don't need a whole lot and fold those over. Back to the nonstick, little spray, and just put those down for about two to three minutes per side until they're crispy and the cheese is melted. Very, very classic quesadilla techniques happening right here. And of course, when you got it done, slice it up into beautiful little triangles, and that's it. It's tuna quesadilla. Just be careful, the mayo will kind of melt a little bit and spread out to the side like this. With the cheesy red bell pepper and green onion quesadilla, put a little of this delicious smoky chipotle pepper sauce on it for a little heat. And we just took tuna to Mexico. Mmm. Mmm. It's just such a nice change of flavors. And the roasted bell pepper and the green onions and the sauce, it just gives it that different feel to it. So I've eaten the same can of tuna three different ways. I hope you like this video. You now have no excuse if you have a 30 minute lunch in the middle of your Zoom day at school, you can make one of these dishes in less than 15 minutes, eat it, and then join the class happy, full, and again, no eating during class. Always be on time for your Zoom lessons. I'm looking at you, Elliot. I saw you that one time. But for the rest of you, I know you guys are gonna have perfect attendance. You're gonna have perfect energy because you're gonna be eating these healthy, delicious dishes. Leave a comment if you wanna see another video on this type of quick homemade lunches at home. As always, get the free ebook, join my newsletter. I send out tons of emails with helpful content for parents and kids and adults who just want delicious recipes. I'm gonna send you my 10 best recipes. Until then, get cooking and have a good lunch.